chug, 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 chug. All right, this week's drink of the week. Drink of the week. I cannot talk about it. Jesus. Uh, this is brought to you by Founders Brewing. Uh, it is called Fruitwood. It is a cherry ale aged in maple syrup bourbon barrels. It is 8% alcohol. Now, this drink of the week here, um, this is the first, this is the first, um, I guess, truly fan of the Dunmark show bought beer because literally the fan bought the beer and then dropped it <laughs> off to me and I repaid him back for picking up the beer. Oh. Um, we had the Irish cream ale too. Well, thank the you. Irish this is you. Yeah. Hope so. you said that you weren't going to go. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my fault. You don't have fans that go out and pick up beer for you. Um, they give me candy. And by fans, <laughs> I mean... <laughs> So yeah, so so this is a this is a fan fan approved bought um, beer for this week's drink of the week segment. So like if it's color. terrible, don't shit on me. We can Ooh, shit on him. Uh, it's your week, so we're shitting on you. <laughs> <laughs> Touche. Well played. Um, um, I'm actually surprised for being in a bourbon barrel. That's I mean, eight percent something to, to be angry I over. But I I'm smell the cherries right. I smell the cherries right away. Like. Whoever was the fan, Steve, you get no credit for this. <laughs> I'm taking all the credit. This is, you know? this is tremendous. This is bad. This is tremendous. This is bad. This is good. No, sh- sh- shout out to shout out to my uh, my cousin Ray that went out and did a beer connoissance for me. Um, he he was at, he was at uh, Duffy's local beer distributor that we go to to pick up on our selection because they have probably the widest range of beers. And sent me literally like 17 pictures of different beers to try <laughs> while I was at work. And he was like, I didn't respond because I was working. And he just, he said, screw it. He's like, I got you this. So I swung by his house, picked it up after work that day. But yeah, um, he he did not swing and miss with this. This oh, is no. delicious. Oh, this, no. is, this is good. Chris, I haven't heard anything from you yet. I don't know. I don't know what I to think you drink it yet. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I was sitting there thinking like uh, everything that's described as I'm getting. I'm getting the, the the cherry. I'm smelling and I'm tasting that. Um, on the on the back, it has um, that was my thing. I, I'm not tasting maple, but it says uh, the maple imposes a velvety texture that lingers for not a moment too long. I think I'm getting the smoothness in the beer from the maple. But not like from overall being, flavor. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, so. from being brewed in the maple barrels, um, you know, yeah. I think that's where your, the maple's coming in. I'm definitely tasting like the the bourbon barrel in here. So I'm getting. I mean, definitely the cherry stands out for sure. It's <laughs> it says it's it's light, you know, a light body cherry ale, crisp. Yeah, uh, its description's on point. Right. This is getting the show. This is getting me primed and ready to go from spring into summer drinking. So, mm. like, this is a this is a nice mm. crisp spring beer as you're outside getting your yard ready to go. You know, maybe some landscaping early here in April. Um, you know, yeah, I'm all I think for it, this. I think it coming in at eight percent. I like because like last week we had that twelve percent, and we thought like that the bourbon barrel for that was a little too heavy. Um, where for this, I think it's perfect. You know, it's you're getting the flavor, but it's, it, that high alcohol percentage isn't overpowering the beer at the same time. Yeah, I'm a, I'm gonna give this a solid four out of five on a sumo mm-hmm. scale. We're here too, Donald. I, I taste everything that uh, was explained in it. It's getting a high score for me. Uh, this is four out of five. I mean, I mean uh, four point five out of five. Okay. Uh, this is the best beer I've had on the show. Wow! For me, me. I'm gonna give it a four seven five. There we go. Oh, wow. He didn't, he didn't even go with half another. He gave it a he Whoa. gave it a numerical rating. So you know, I'd buy a case. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I would. I would buy a case of this. It's got a hint of beer in it a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, absolutely. So yeah, if you if you're out oh, and about, man, um, if you see the the founders, Fraudwood, Fruitwood, however you want to pronounce it, Fruit, def, Fruit. definitely grab that. Rotting is a whole other thing. 
Let, let me be your ghost dog. <laughs> let him pick up all you. <laughs> Go to the next segment. Okay, cheers this one. No, that's it. Next segment.